Okay, so today we're out on a very special adventure with Manchester Mudlarks, Mick and Sarah. And we're not just mudlarking, we oh, are no. intrepid oh, no. explorers oh, no. today because we are going to cross a dangerous river oh. in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is going to be a good one. We know we're going to find some treasures today. Absolutely. Hopefully something might get wet. Yeah. Oh, oh and well, so you never know. Not you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the possibilities are endless and it's something we've never done before. No? Yeah. Exciting adventure, so <laughs> let's do it. Send Gail over first, um, just because she she claimed she had experience of going on a boat. So, oh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh no, what is going on? <laughs> so desperate we are. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. There's Mum. She's made it to the other side. Hey, yes. Mum did it! <laughs> yes! Now look how much we've got to explore! <laughs> we need longer rope really. That's it, you got it, that's it, you got it. Look at that. That's it, that's how you do it. Once you got the hang of it. Okay, Sarah. Right hand, right hand, right hand. Right hand. Come on. Keep rowing. Right hand strong. Now row strong with both. Both. Come on, Sarah. Right hand, right hand, right hand. She's doing it. She's doing it. You're doing it. Come on. Go on, go on. Are you coming over? We did, did it. it! We, we did, did it. it! I mean, I'm sinking. I'm sinking in the mud. It's it's sinking. Ah! Oh. Yes! I can't believe it. We did it! Oh. Victorious! Well, they're all over there now. They never rode before, so it's the first time for everybody. Right, my first find. We've got. A old Bakelite light switch that's complete, so I think I'll keep that. And I'm not sure what that is. That's a candlestick. Oh, it's glass. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was um, um stonework. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what it is. No. From now on, it will be a candlestick. <laughs> oh, look at that! Straight away, straight away, looks like we've got a little lead figure. Sarah was literally just saying you can find lead here, and there we go. Oh, look. It's like a lady, like a, a woman carrying like a bag of like wheat or something. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. I've not seen one like, oh no, it might, she might be carrying a, a pig or a dog or something. Oh, that's nice. Good few finds already, I'm quite pleased. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, let's have a look. Like oh, that's beautiful. I've no never way. seen one like no that. Way. Never, never seen one. That's a great find. I don't know what she's carrying, like a bag or something. It's, is it not? A, it's a baby. It's with head missing. Oh, is it a baby? It's a baby. She's carrying a baby on her hip. Isn't she a little child? Oh, yes, you're right. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful find. That is brilliant. I've not seen anything like that. Yeah, this is definitely a place for lead, lead toys. 
Okay, so I think this is an old light pole. Bit of cord still in there. We're pulling the switch on or? Not sure. I like it though. Probably from the 1930s or something like that. Could be older. I think it's got. Could have a maker's mark on there. I'll have to look it up. Down here, hiding on the roof bank, is a horse. Oh, look at him. He's all flat. With no legs on the front, no tail. Poor horsey. You'll have to come home to our poor tin toy collection. There's a few things down here that look suspicious. Look at this little thing. What is that? It looks like a little man with a top hat. See that? I think it is a little person. I'm not sure what that is that is or what it's off but i love that and what's this little random bit of lead that may have something on it but i don't know can't see that's what we're after today those little little things little gems as sarah calls them i think i found some more lead things down here oh some more metal things at least that what is that Oh my goodness, it's a tiny pig. It's a tiny little piggy. A little lead pig. That is so cute, little farmyard animal. Oh, lovely. There's a bit of bike chain here as well, look. What else have we got? There must be some other things here. There's other bits of lead and stuff. I wonder if we'll find any gold. It's a really fancy piece of brass here. That's really nice, I think I'll keep that. Okay, I think I found a little bead down here, look at that. The tiniest little, like, opalescent bead thing. And I noticed this down here. I've already pulled it, but look, it's a tiny, like really really tiny little bottle with the cork still in look at that oh i also see something brilliant down here look at that i think it's a little iodine bottle look it's a poison it says poison see that it says poison ah hold on i've always I've, we found a few of these in the past but none that actually say oh no poisonous poisonous how wonderful is that actually over there Mum's just walked past a bit of a lead figure. <laughs> She's there. It's a bit of a lead horse down there. Wow, this is really good. Sarah was telling the truth all along. <laughs> She's way over there. So here is someone's long lost harmonica mouth organ. I wonder what jolly tunes came out of that at one time. What a shame. <laughs> but that has some stories to tell. And it's an arm. A doll's arm. You can see where it's joined on there probably with elastic or something onto a doll. I've barely moved very far at all. I'm still finding things in this one spot because we've got a gorgeous bone button there. And then up here, I can't see it anymore. Oh no. Yeah, oh, there it is. Up here, a little lead thing. Oh yeah, look, it's a bit of a horse. It's another bit of a toy. These must have been so popular. There's loads of pieces of them. Try not to focus on bottles and just focus on the little things. Really cool little bit of clay pipe here. Look at this. It's just a random bit of stem, but I'm falling down the bank. It's very steep. <laughs> it's in the shape of a gun. How cool would that have been if that was whole? 
Wow, I've not seen anything like that before. I see all sorts up there. Look at that. Look at all those bottles. Meat paste pots, sauce bottles. Wow, beer bottles. But there's no way of getting up there. It's far too dangerous. So we're just going to have to wait down here until they finally fall. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? That looks like a poison bottle. Oh my goodness, it is. Not to be taken. Not to be taken. Green, little tiny green, but that's the smallest green not to be taken I think we've ever found. That must have just fallen out from up there. Oh my goodness. Goodness, the, the things I can see up there. Oh, what a shame. Oh well, they are future treasures to be found down here if they don't break. Like this little bottle, how brilliant. Okay, I see a little ink bottle down there. Oh, actually look. Milk of magnesia. I don't know if Sarah wants that. I might bring that further down. But look, little ink bottle down there. I'm gonna see if it has any embossing on it because I'm trying not to take bottles unless they are particularly interesting. So let's go and have a look. Let's scoot on down here. No, and it's cracked. It's got a small crack. I'll take it down there for people who don't wanna climb all the way up here. Um, I don't want to go any further um, because it's it's very dangerous. Here is a clay marble. piece of uh, copper plate here. I don't know what it's off. I don't think it's got any writing on it or anything, but I love uh, copper and brass. So yeah, that's uh, I'm going to do a project. Oh my goodness, I can see an embossed a flask there, which I'm going to go and have a look at um, really quickly because it's so dangerous. Yeah, and look, an embossed milk bottle with something on. I'm gonna take some of these down just in case. Um, Sarah wants something like that. But I'm very interested in that embossed bottle there. So it's got lovely iridescence on it, but it says Yates Wine Lodge. That's so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. So I, I am gonna take that. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to take bottles, but I am gonna take that one because it's unusual. Yates is Britain's oldest pub chain and is said to have been established in the 19th century when brothers Peter and Simon Yates opened the first Yates Wine Lodge in Oldham in 1884. The brothers had learnt the business from their aunt, Mary Yates Addison, who took over the running of the Grey Horse Tavern in the 1850s and was a very successful wine and spirit merchant. When she died in 1900, she left the equivalent of £3.7 million to her daughter Susanna. After a devastating fire, the inn was replaced with the current building and became known as Addison's Wine Lodge after Mary Addison. Later, it was renamed Yates Wine Lodge and then simply Yates. The building is still a Yates bar to this day. Our bottle probably dates from the early 20th century. See something down here? It may or may not be a head. Yes, it is. Oh, look. It's like a little head. A little pixie. I don't know. It's got something on top of the head. Oh, that's a beautiful little find. Nice little bit of glass here. Maybe like out of a mirror or a picture frame or something. I'll take that. I'm gonna go and look down by the river now, by the water. A little vial, is it whole? Yes it is, they always are. Somehow I have no idea how they rain whole. So uh, mum hasn't spotted oh, it yet. Yeah, I can, see it. can you see it? Can you spot what we're what we've spotted? 
it's here. It's something lead. A tin. Oh, it's a... Is it a part of a cannon? Cannon? Or something. I don't know. I think it is. Look, it's a cannon. Oh, right. It goes like that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Not found a, le a lead cannon before, neither. This is something really cool that we never find. It is old newspaper and I can't see a date on it, but I'm feeling 1930s. Oh, it says November 17 to 13, it's not a date. Let's see if we can see a date on here. Yeah, I'm feeling 1930s vibes. But look, it says pun names. How cool is this? Gonna have a bit of fun looking through this. So cool. There's a photograph on there. Okay, so I thought this is plastic and I think it actually might be glass. It is, it's a glass rod of some kind. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe it was some kind of like stirring stick, like cocktail stirring stick or something like that. That's pretty cool. Don't know what we're going to use it for, but I like it, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> it looks like I found a whole glass dish. Oh, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what colour it is. I think it's black. Black glass. I'll take that. At first, I thought I'd found a glass dish, but it turns out it's an Art Nouveau glass plinth or stand made of very dark amethyst glass. How wonderful! I think I've just found a little paint mixing pan. Yes, I have. It's different though. It's a little mixing pan, look. Yeah. Mum's wearing a paint pan necklace. <laughs> I think I found a little glass, glass thing button. Oh, I think it was, but the shanks come off. It's just the cabochon now. We could set that into a necklace, lovely. I think I found a bit of spatter glass here. Let's have a... Oh wow, look at the colours in that. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's beautiful. And there's a... Oh, it's a broken hot water bowl stopper. Lens. I'm sorry, I went into a bit of a song there. What's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? What is that? <gasps> I found a lead Mickey Mouse. A lead Mickey Mouse. Yeah. He's only got one ear though. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, so Sarah's going to show us a little lead figure she's found. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's definitely Mickey. Yeah, oh yeah, it's there's definitely a little Mickey Mouse. On the back. I must be quite early Mickey Mouse yeah, then. I think so, I think it's quite an early one. That's oh, probably the best ever lead find. Yeah, that is, we, we were over that spot as well. Oh, it's always We were like, we were searching over that spot yeah. before. Yeah, where I, you find the paint pan is yeah. where I was searching well, minutes before. See, you can't see everything. No, no, you can't, but that. I just bent down and there it was under like a little rock. That is perfect, amazing. Yeah. Well yeah. done. The find of the day so far, that. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> winner winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so mum's got some treasures down here. What have we got? A little glass button, a lens, and a plant pot. And a whole plant pot, and I just found that. Oh, a, a big glass. Lens, a little lens. Glass all around. Glasses with those. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, had a out of 
spoon, now we've got a fork. We've got it's a, fork it's well. a really like long, elegant one as well. Just like me, <laughs> Just like me Sarah says. <laughs> Look at this, it's a tiny child's boot. Oh my goodness. Probably off some poor little boy. Maybe worked in the mills around here. Still has traces of the shoelace in. I might actually take that. I just couldn't resist taking this dear little shoe home with me. It immediately conjured up images of a little boy who once wore it. From what background he came, we can only surmise, but the shoe was very worn when it was thrown away. Did he wear his little boots to school, or did he work long hours in the local cotton mill, as so many poor children in the area did? We will never know, and the little shoe will hold on to its secrets, and we will dream of them. And here's something that... Um I always like finding, it's an old caster wheel of some furniture or for piano or something uh, but they just like giant beads actually, talking of beads is that a bead? oh yes it is, look I think it's a bead anyway two beads so Alex has found some really cool little things yeah. here and one of them is a little pig. I've got a little pig. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't oh, it so cute? so cute? And I've got this poison bottle, this tiny bottle that says poisonous. And that would have had iodine in it. And they don't usually have the poisonous written on no, them. No, they don't. That shape. So this, uh, yeah. And I found, a few, I found a few other little lead figures, bits of lead figures as well. So I'm really happy. Yeah, we're doing quite well so yeah. far found a bit of a doll's head so because we're rubbish between us no one's brought any tools maybe we can use my fork there you go yeah use your fork maybe it's not no maybe it's not it might have just been a bit of a oh, oh. no it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a skull Oh, I don't know, it might. Or a monkey or something. Oh, I don't know, put the other pieces on it, we'll have to see. What on earth is that? Can't tell where it goes. They were all attached, weren't they? It was all one thing, so. Yeah. No, it's creepy. It is very, very creepy. Oh, it's creepy. It's like a skull. Is it a, is it a dog, though, or. Have a look to see if there's anything else in there. Might be something else in there. Yeah. Well, we don't know what it is, but it's creepy. Just dug out this really strange bit of figurine. I think it might be a dog or something, but it looks so creepy. It looks like a skull. And I've got more of it here, so I'm going to try and piece that back together and see exactly what it was. It's really creepy. Ta-da! I had no idea when I collected up those muddy fragments of biscuit porcelain exactly what the original figure was supposed to be. As I started to clean and piece the sherds back together, Yorick revealed himself to us. This is the first human skull figure we found and I'm so happy to have found it. Our man Yorick would have originally been a match holder and striker. The skull, sitting atop a book, would have had a nodding lower jaw. Yorick was made in Japan sometime between the 1930s and the 1950s. Safe to say a complete example is on my Christmas list this year. No hints there at all to Mum. I just found a whole lead camel! Oh my goodness, look! Look at the size of it! Amazing! It's a whole camel! I just found a whole camel. Oh Mum found one the other day at a pole dump. Oh How weird is that? that, so, that Little two humps. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I'm glad I came down here. I struggled down here from up there through these branches and it paid off already. 
well, let's have another look down here that was my initial second I looked down my initial find so let's have another look there might be something else down here okay found another bit of lead toy down here and it looks like a wheel a little lead wheel Sarah's found some awesome lead things over there as well oh, let's give it a rinse wow look complete lead wheel that's gorgeous it's got all of its spokes as well. Oh wow, it's like, this is like a lead day. We're having a lead day. Okay, this will be my first pipe. I think. First pipe bowl. It's not whole. It's got anything on it. Give it a rinse. So there we go. Bit of clay pipe and I found another one of those poison bottles iodine bottles but it doesn't have iodine written on it and a clay pipe has something written on it something Ch Manchester the Manchester clay pipe have the name on the other side of the maker as well Alex has just found a clay pipe that says Manchester on it and you know what that means Alex don't you you know the rules it's mine oh it is a dead go there it's stuck a bit deep <laughs> Let me, I will. I'm wet anyway. I'm wet anyway. <laughs> no. Where does the wheels away? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, look at that. It's got Manchester on the stem. Oh, thank you, Alex. <laughs> oh, look at that. It was made for you. Definitely made for me. Thank you. I'm, I I'm got anything to give you. I have that lead thing about. Which lead thing? Oh, the, the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Oh, let me look at it a little while longer yet, Alex. <laughs> you know I'll give it to you if you really want it, when I've looked at it for a bit. <sighs> it's a little teapot. Just the spout's missing though, unfortunately. Oh, and look at that down there. It's my very first stopple bopper of the day. There we go. Lovely. Oh, and look, I forgot to film this. I've just found a pocket watch. Look at this. It's got the back casing still on. I think it's like a half hunter, which means that the face is exposed. The glass is missing, but I might be able to clean it up. I might be able to even get inside and see who the maker is. So that's really cool. After cleaning, it was clear much of the iron components had rusted away to nothing, leaving all the brass components loose. Although we do hope to use some of the tiny cogs in some of our future projects. Last week, we also included this beautiful watch pot in the roundup, but hadn't filmed us finding it because it had been an unrecognisable lump of verdigris. After cleaning, its beauty was revealed with engraving and three of its four quartz crystal jewels still in place. We were then able to identify it as a late 19th to early 20th century pocket watch. Both watches probably date from the same period, but unfortunately no maker's names can be found. Oh right, a screw top bottle with a, 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 a spout. Let's have a look. Has it got any writing on it? That is very unusual, but that is beautiful and I've never seen that before. That is a great, that's a great little find that Gail. A great system. Yeah! Well done, Gail! Okay, so here's a little handful of things. This is a curious little bottle. It's It's got a screw top, but it's got a spout as well. It's a lovely amber colour. I think that's a Gibbs toothpaste lid, a melted marble, some sort of strange pin, and two other um, unidentifiable things. And that's all out of uh, here. There's all sorts of metal things collecting in the bottom, bottom of here. This screw spout bottle was made in England in about 1905 and probably contained something like chloroform or opium as the bottle is clearly designed to let the contents drip out very slowly. We have only seen one other example of this design having a screw top with a spout. Please comment if you can shine further light on this interesting bottle. I'm in the water but I can see loads of bits of pottery and metal and stuff down here and I'm, I swear there must be some lead. Oh, huh, what 
what did I just say? Oh, no, wait, two. Two bits. Okay, so what have we got? A... Oh, look, it's a Native American. With a headdress on. And... A bloke on a horse. Oh wow, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna search in this area. Let's have a look, see what we can find. Look at all the little tiny bits of metal. There's another little bit of lead soldier, some legs. Okay, <laughs> I've got to put these in my bag. See something metal down there that looks Oh my goodness! Oh I thought that might have been a spur. Like on the end of a like a boot what do you call it? A spur on the end of a uh, what do you call them? Stirrup? Thing? Foot things? Oh, I can't remember. That's for pastry, though. I think that's for doing the edge of pastry. <laughs> so Mum's found the most awesome little find here. Look at this! It's a little train, it's and I think it's got a little man in it. It's tiny! A tiny, mini, tiny little train? <laughs> that is crazy! I love it! <sighs> <laughs> Maybe we can cast it, make something out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Found another little find here. It's a tiny little man on a horse. How cute is that? This whole area is just absolutely littered with tiny little lead things. another bead I think it's a little bit of lead shot I think I've just spied a cheeky little marble hiding down there look oh yeah look at that it's beautiful swirly blue and white marble glass marble oh wait what's that Is that another one oh it was. It just fell apart. Oh no. What? Oh it's a marble. No. I, picked, I just touched it and it fell apart. <laughs> but I've got a blue one, look. Oh, fantastic. Altogether, we found five beautiful glass marbles, two of which, though, are a bit knackered. They are all early machine made marbles made in America after the invention of the marble making machine in the 1900s. Our marbles date from the 1920s to the 1930s. Could this be another bead? Oh yes, look. It's a faceted one. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that a bead down there? Oh, it's a modern item. Look, it's a little pink bead, like a little faceted pink bead, oh. look. Oh, that's nice like that. It's no secret that we absolutely love finding beads and today we found a really lovely selection. Two are hand faceted and the rest have been press molded. To our delight we found one of our beads was made from uranium glass and glows under ultraviolet light. Have I spot yet another marble? Look at that. In, in that crack. Yes, it is. It's a yellow and white marble this time. Oh, a blue marble and a yellow marble. And a yellow spout. <laughs> oh, blue, yellow. I've got two, a yellow and a blue marble. Just spotted another one. It has been such a lead day today. Look, what is that? Is that a little dog? Oh, it's a little lamb. It's a little lamb for spring. Oh, that's so cute. 
Love the little lead toys. Got so many of them today. It's been brilliant. So many tin lead alloy toys lay strewn along the river's edge. Another personal record for us. Most of them broken, probably played with for more than one generation until that leg or head finally fell off. Whole ones thrown out with the sweepings or replaced with new at Christmas. Life was dangerous for the lead toys and children alike. Lead poisoning was likely, not only from the lead toy, but also from the lead in the paint it was coloured with. But here they all are, a strangely mangled reminder of childhoods gone by. For more about lead toys, click in the link to the video in the description below. There's an entire like woven mat coming out of the bank here. Isn't that incredible? There's a whole box here full of little bottles and things. Got a tablespoons bottle. Oh look, we've got some lead figures. I'm taking the lead figures. For the lead collection. That looks like a blob top bottle. Oh my goodness, it's complete. Got anything on it? Oh wow. Cool, I'm gonna wash that. Okay, let's take it down here and give it a wash. It's very muddy, very clay, this for sure. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Right, I'm starting to slide into the mud now, so I'm gonna have to make a hasty retreat. Superior ginger beer. What's it? Cowling. Oh my goodness. That's, oh, that's a beauty. That is gorgeous. I love that. I didn't say I was going to take any bottles, but I'm taking that. Right now I've got to make it back without disappearing into this mud forever. As no other examples of this bottle appear to exist on the internet, Mum researched the Knoll name and found a John Knoll living in the small village of Cowling in Yorkshire, just a short distance from where this bottle was found. We have no positive proof that we have the right person, but looking at all the evidence, he seems a likely candidate. John was born in Lancashire in about 1828. It seems he started his career as a clog maker, but by 1881 was running his own grocery business in Cowling. John was a staunch Methodist who often took to the pulpit to preach. He took in ecclesiastical lodgers and in 1881 is recorded in the local Preacher's magazine as donating five shillings to the Methodist Mutual Aid Association. The Methodist Church was a strong advocate for the temperance movement. Could it be that John started making and selling ginger beer as a wholesome alternative to alcohol? It was a common practice for grocers to also produce their own aerated drinks, so it's not unlikely. John retired sometime before 1891, which could date the bottle to the latter half of the 19th century. It's been a really good day and um, I think that's my final find to finish it all off. A really good little blob top bottle. How cool! Okay, so last find of the day from mum is this gorgeous little poison bottle. It's Isn't like it a lovely? like an aqua colour. We've not found one like that yet, have we? No, um, it's an aqua colour. Yeah. Rather than a blue or a green. Well, that's brilliant. I like that one. We've, so we've got two poison bottles. No, three, because I found that. Uh, yeah, oh, three, okay. three poison bottles. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, shall I push it? Shall I, um, shall I launch you? I'll launch you. <laughs> there they go. Oh, I'm so glad I came in here. Tell you what, I should have come over with Gail in the first place because it would have been a lot quicker. Oh my God, you, you're a natural one in there. We're nearly at me. We're right nearly at me now. Yeah, nearly, just keep going. Go on, go on. See it? Wow. it would have been like this on the way. Oh, look at that. Here we go. 
it's all happening here. Yeah, it's better that way, isn't it? Yeah, you see, got it. Left hand, left hand, that's it, that's it. Now both. Left, both. Right hand. That's like a rocket. <laughs> like a rocket. Alex and Gail just popped over to the island over there. Look, it's just it's shallow, shallow walk to there. I've, I've got uh, something I fell last time I was here, so they might be equally as lucky. But from there, you can go to, there's another island down there. And then there are some points where you can get across to those islands down there. So they've gone for a little bit of a mooch, see what they can find. And I just knocked this out the side. And look, it's an old tape. Do you remember tapes? Let's see if we can wash it and see who it was. I wonder who it was. Is it anybody we've heard of? Let's have a look. Put my glasses on. It is. Now that's what I call music. Volume 2. An absolute classic. Now that's what I call music, volume two, various artists. What a shame we can't see who those artists were. Oh, gosh, that is, that is quite old. What is that, 80s? So I am thinking around about 86, maybe? Has it got the... No, it's not got a date on it, but I'm thinking 1986. Oh, no, no, it's a bit there. I wasn't that far off, 1984. There you go. 1984 now that's what i call music and that is actually i'm going to keep it and tell you why 1984 that's the year i left school i left high school in 1984 so that is a little keeper purely because that's the year i left school and that would have been great tunes i'm sure it would found something that looks a bit weird down here what on earth is that? It sits like that, I think. This is some kind of pipe. What is that? I don't know, but it's interesting. Whatever it is. Here is our mystery object of the week. It's made of copper and has a screw thread on the inside of the top opening. It also looks like there's been something attached to the inside of the spout. A filter, perhaps. The closest we can come to in our research is some kind of coffee pot. Comment below with your thoughts on what it could be. Oh, look what I've spotted down here. I've got a bottle here. And I picked it up and it says poisonous. Found a poison bottle. And then, hiding down here, it's a wee little marble. Lovely. I love finding marbles. It's another blue and white one. Poison, poisonous and not to be taken. We found four poison bottles altogether, although one seems to have gone astray. The tincture of iodine bottle is unusual in that it's embossed with poisonous, when the ones we usually find of this type are plain. The aqua bottle is embossed with the word poison, and the half ounce green bottle not to be taken. Such cute and pleasing little bottles with such dangerous contents. This week we found another wonderful array of historic artefacts and had a lot of fun finding them and researching their history, hopefully shedding some light on the everyday lives of not too distant generations. Last week we added the Pudding Doll, Claw Pipe and Victoria Jubilee Medal to the Window of Wonders. Please comment below with the find you would most like to see in the window this week.
Okay, so we've had the most amazing day with Sarah and Mick from Manchester Mudlocks and we want to ask you now to go and visit their channel, go and subscribe and watch their brilliant videos. They make some great finds and make some, yeah, some really great videos. So go and subscribe to them and we'll leave a link to their channel down below in the description. And a huge thank you to everyone who has liked this video, who has left a comment below, and of course everyone who has subscribed, which is really important. A special thank you as well to everyone who has donated to our channel and to all of our patrons who support us every month. And we'll see you again next week. Bye! Bye. Go! There you go.